thing going? Yeah, it's going. Hey, Ben. Hi, happy Wednesday. We're here. My garage. It's me, Chris Collier. And I'm trying to try a, a method of fire starting that I see my uh, good buddy Wayne uh, do. And it's making fire with two sticks, flat boards, and some pine, pine, <laughs> cotton balls, and a little bit of ash from a uh, fire, wood ash, whatever you like that. So, he did it, made it look easy. Nothing's easy till an idiot like me does it. So that should be good there. What he did is he took a cotton ball and unrolled it. And then for about the first third, he sprinkled some wood ash on it. I sense a cat out there doing something. And to sprinkle the ash on the first third. And didn't use too much. So I think that's going to be fine. Now this you tightly roll up as best as you can. Maybe that was a bit too much ash. We'll find out when we get to the next stage, which is right below me here. So, here it is. Tightly woven up. Wound up, I mean. Now, set that there, and you do some nice easy ones first. Just to compact it even more and get it tighter and tighter. Eureka, I've made either a cigarette or a tampon. No, that joke will never get old. So once you got it, it's very hard. Then you use more pressure and more speed. Back and forth. Like so. It's getting hot. Try one more go at it. It's hot. I don't know if anything's going on inside there or not. I thought I'd seen some red there, but I don't think so. Well, try her again. Hopefully this is in the frame. Well, it's smoking. There. We got a... We got a thing going. So... And it's a good one. I think it's compact like that. It'll last for a while. So I got a little tinder bunder here, dead grass, dead leaves, twig or two, and a very little bit of birch bark, which I mostly just buried, or knocked off of me. So, see if we can get this into a light. I'm out of breath though from that rolling. <laughs> Come on there. Huh. Be a bugger, but I just got this stuff off uh, the ground and it's kind of damp.
Uh, I think it's dead. Yeah, not very much left. Well, the important part was that I made a coal. Obviously, I gotta practice my uh, tinder bundle a little bit more. I'll make this one up. Here, I'll, I'll try this again. I'll set you up when I'm uh, a bit ready to roll, just to see if this wasn't a fluke. Okay, I got it to where I just rolled it up with the ashes and everything. Look at this little thing. Now I'll just slowly wind her tighter and tighter. Oh, what's going on? Nope. One more to do it. Well, that ain't smart. I get something to kneel on. I don't see anything handy though. Maybe this will help. Can't hurt. Okay, so, maybe one more. Okay, let's go for fire. Ooh, I see smoke. I felt like it was burning. Be hot. Am I even the picture now? There we have it. Now, so that was that. You see, I did it twice. This time on the first go. Now to get a fire going. With the E-old tinder bundle. In there. A few twigs of birch bark. And begin. Smoke. Ooh. <laughs> it's either going to go or I'm going to pass out. There we go. Oh, it's going to keep going. Keep going, keep going. Hey! And there you have it. Maybe I should put that out. Before the sprinkler alarm goes on. Okay, so! I proved that any idiot arcade man can do it. This way. Two pieces of board, a cotton ball, and a tiny bit of wood ash. You can see, I didn't put very much up. So I'll call that successful. I don't know what that method's called, two board method or something like that, or uh, fire roll, fire roll. I think that's what Wayne called it. So you may be saying yes. Well, this would be for an occasion where you find yourself and all you have is a cotton ball or two and ashes from the night before. 
and then you lost your ferro rod in the nights or your matches or your lighter and everything like that. But you're saying, well, what are the chances of finding two boards like that out in the woods? And if you go to Wayne's channel, Cole Craven, on YouTube, K-U-L-L-C-R-A-V-E-N, uh, first of all, check out his channel. He's, uh, he's got excellent videos up on bushcraft and uh, does reviews too, which some find handy. I don't do them. And uh, he does it. He put a video up today where he does it out in the woods. He's got a fallen log that he smooths off. Then he splits another piece of wood that splits off. And then he works on it to make them as smooth as possible. And uh, lickety split. He got it going. And uh, actually, he had problems with his uh, <laughs> tinder bundle too because it's damp over where he's from in New Brunswick. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. And uh, now we we'll go on to the important stuff the red wine tasting. Glad you could. Uh, Follow me through this into the red wine, which I know you guys all like. So cheers for later. Hey, Ben. Let me through here. Let me through here. It's starting. It's starting. Hey, we made it. How was about that? That was some pretty exciting stuff there. Uh, starting a fire with a cue ball. Cue ball? Cue ball? Cotton ball and uh, ash. Ash? No, ash. Yeah. But I think I'll do my videos like that now. I think I'll do some kind of video on something else and then bring you back here for the wine or the beer. Uh, I'm not getting many uh, packages to open and I know some guys like the opening up of packages but some probably don't care to see it. And the last couple times I didn't have any packages you just had to sit through me blabbing away for 15 minutes. So this is what I'm going to do for today and uh, Friday too when I get the beer. I got something planned for them too, uh, which could be actually trying that uh, roll fire attempt out in the woods. Hopefully it's going to be a sunny day so it's not too wet and damp everywhere. But that was that. That was the other video. This is now the wine video. What we have here is Kim Crawford Pinot Noir South Island 2013. Kim Crawford, you remember her? I think she's 50 now. She still looks like she's... Uh, 13. Uh, 23. Where's it made at though? That's what I'm looking for. It's got English and French. Central Otago. Mm. I guess we'll never know. Anyway, uh, I didn't want to read all the backs because that's got things in it. And you know what? I just had this thought just before I started. This is expensive wine. It was 23 bucks on sale for 21 And that's almost like $10 more than I would willing to say uh, to pay. So it's either really good or it's just going by Kimmy's name here. I think it's probably more Kimmy's name. Oh, it smells good though. Blackberry or black cherry, plum, plum a little bit of uh, almost like prune juice too. Remember a cup of prune juice a day that keeps you regular. It is a good smell. I'll give you that. So maybe it is worth twenty three bucks. I don't know. I, don't, I doubt it. Glug glug. Here we come. A little bit of air in there. A little bit of hair around that. Game cropper, eh? So, it's not really, really, really dark. It's nice and uh, fire engine reddish. <laughs> no, not really. It's red anyway. Let's try the smell. Hmm. It's not as uh, concentrated as it was before. Maybe the fact that you smell it from the wine bottle, everything comes out of here, and you get almost your nose right around that. It still smells good with those flavors I said before. Yeah. Very fruity. Frutaceous. Frutaceous? I was thinking herbaceous. Fruitaceous. It's got to work, doesn't it?
That is good red wine. I'm not saying it's worth 23 bucks, but pretty close. It's good and smooth, not too dry. Very fruity flavored grapes and those red cherries and black cherries and black Angus. Black Angus. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. Pinot Noir from South Island. South Island means to me New Zealand. So let's see what we get. Sister. Some of the most spectacular, beautiful vineyards in the world are home to the silky Pinot Noir. The foothills of Marlborough deliver bursts of plum and strawberry. Strawberry? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, maybe. I got the plum, though. While the breathtaking terroir of central Otaga present black cherry and spice. Juicy with fine tannins. Yeah, it's not very tanniny, yeah, I'm sure. This wine is superb with herb crusted lamb, yeah, mushroom risotto, or all on its own. Maybe lamb with mushrooms and risotto. I'm pleasantly surprised that it is as good as it is. I was going to say, maybe maybe you got a hot date or something like that coming over, you could, you, you could buy this. Uh, if your hot date is, is female, that's, I mean. Um, maybe if, well, I'll tell, a, tell my joke there for a second. Got a hot date coming over, so maybe you want to invite Kim Crawford along as well. There, I said it. Now, if your hot date is a guy, uh, maybe you get Wayne Gretzky in there. Or... Mike Weir, that's two Canadian guys. I don't need any celebrities with other wines. Oh, I do, but it's on, it's on the tip of my tongue, which I can't see yet. Anyway, I give this two thumbs up for sure. I think even white, white wine drinkers will enjoy that. Yeah, I'll enjoy it too. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, lots of fun, and uh, I'll have something next time. Uh, I said it was, you know, it's good that I got the other video. I'm not going to drone on, and here I am droning on. All right, sum up here. The wine is great. Kim Crawford Pinot Noir from South Island, and even though they're not saying it's from New Zealand, uh, what did it say it was from? The foothills of Marlborough and central Otago. Otago. I'm going to have to look up there and see. Oh, uh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Bruce and Bob by Kim Crawford Wines, Station Road, Hoopai, New Zealand. Prague, New Zealand. <laughs> I was there twice. <laughs> anyway. I love New Zealand, and I kind of love this wine. So thanks for dropping by. Have yourself a good week, the rest of the week. It's supposed to be nice here. Definitely the heat went down. It's not so uh, humid out and muggy and, and stuff. Ben is sleepy. Ben just had a great big <laughs> steak with a marrow bone inside it, so he's all fat and tired now. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. Check out Cole Craven on YouTube if you're interested in something like that. And uh, come on back Friday and uh, maybe I'll get the video of me making it out in the woods up uh, that time. Okay, thanks. And this is Chris. Out. Uh, New Zealand. No, Africa. Uh, Africa. Australia. There's New Zealand. Like that.